I'm in the right place. In the right place. Fact, years and a couple of days ago, said marriage was between a man and a woman. Oh, wow. But now it's changing. Yes. Come on, come on, come, come on. on. But truth. Ah. Help me out, somebody. Yes, sir. Uh, truth. Truth. In the word says it's between a man and a woman. That's yes. right. Amen. Truth. Why am I saying that? Because people, if you don't watch yourself, they will change and try to change God in front of your very eyes. Yes, my God. God. That you'll have the enemy talking to you and he'll go, did God really he say? Yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. And you sitting up there scratching your head saying, well, I know the word says, and I know what pastor said, but because now there are celebrities. Uh, my God. My God. My God. My God. Come on. That want to say something else, but you gotta understand what truth says. Yes, yes, yes. Glory God. Why am I saying that? Because in this day and age, you gotta know what you're standing for. Yes. yes. That's all right. Hallelujah. You gotta know who you believe in. You gotta know who you are and whose you are. Yes, God. Stand on truth. It might call you old fashioned, but it's all right. I'm standing on truth. I don't care what the facts say, because people can manipulate facts. But they cannot change truth. Truth. My God. Amen. 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 You have Psalm 121. Yes, Lord. It says, I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills, from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee, say keepeth thee. Keepeth thee. Will not slumber. Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is thy keeper. The Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand. The sun shall not smoke thee by day nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. Amen. If I would give you a title or a topic today, it would simply be, He's a Keeper. He's a Keeper. He's a Keeper. He's a keeper. Amen. He's a Keeper. That, that might not mean much to you right now, but just give me a few minutes. He's a Keeper. Yes. Amen. Do you understand that the reason you're simply here today is because he has kept you? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The Lord is thy keeper. Yes, sir. When we look at this particular psalm and, and this song, this was a song that the people would sing on their way to the temple. Mm hmm you can equate it as on, on their way to church. This was a song that they would sing. And this was a song of protection. Why was that? Because they understood that there were dangers on the journey to the temple. Mm -hmm. They understood that there were obstacles in their way that would try to keep them and prevent them from getting to the temple. To getting to worship God and being with the people of God. Amen. I, I know that don't happen to us today. I know that when you woke up today, everything went just as, as you wanted it to. Hello. I know you found the right clothes and the kids was doing what they were supposed to do and everybody got fed and nobody was complaining. You didn't have to ask nobody five or six times to wake up because we going to church and everybody just skipped along. Come on. I, I know that happened today. But for some folk, they realize that they get the biggest battles between Saturday night and Sunday morning. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I mean, have the best intentions in the world and say, Lord, I'm going to be there and I'm going to be ready and I'm going to have my mind focused on you. But the minute that you say that, 
all hell begins to break, y'all don't hear what I'm saying. And all in the house and everything, your kids acting crazy and uh, your spouse looking crazy and your money starts acting crazy. You get all kind of phone calls at night. Why? Because you made a declaration. I'm going to the house of the Lord on today. But the devil, the enemy will put obstacles in your way. Just to frustrate you and discourage you from being where you know God wants you to be. My God, you're preaching. And so they understood that, Lord, we need to give you a song or we need to worship you or to praise you because if you don't do it, you know that there our enemies are waiting to entrap us and to scare ah. us, to get us from being where you want us to be. Come See, on. they had the good intentions, but they understood that, God, if you don't do it, My God. Ah. come on here. I'm not going to make it because many times when I start on the journey and things begin to come my way, I, it's easy to focus on my circumstance huh. yeah. and get discouraged and want to turn around and go back. Huh. Come on here. But tell your neighbor, say, I've come too far. I've come too far, far, far. To turn around now. You turn around now. You have to understand that even though the obstacles are coming your way, they knew that if they could just send up a prayer, uh, oh, yeah. Come on here. Yes, sir. But see, here's the thing. In order to make it to the where God wants you to be, you have to realize that you have to focus in the right place. Yes, God. Yes, God. Help me, Holy Ghost. See, what happens is you begin to look on your circumstances and look around you instead of having your focus on God. How can I say that? Because the first thing they said is, I, I will lift up my eyes unto the hills from which cometh my help. But if you really understand what it says, it's missing a question mark there. Ah. Uh, come on, come on. It teacher. really says, does my help come from the hills? <laughs> come on, See, come on. See, when you get in trouble, where is your help going to come from? Yes, sir. Are you looking to your bank account for your help? Uh, are you looking to your parents for your help? Uh, are you looking to your spouse for your help? Uh, are you looking to the job for your help? When you get in the bind and obstacles come your way, where are you looking for your help to come from? Uh, come on. 